Hello, my name is Jacqueline Lowe. Welcome to my Fall into the Light series with Grace That Reigns. Bishop Gilmore and I were invited by Father Steve Kunkel to offer a healing mission at his church called St. Thomas the Apostle in 2017. That's where we met Rosanna Thill and her father, Henry Coda. Hello, Rosanna. Hi, Jacqueline. We have felt so privileged to have been invited to your parish and especially to have met you both. Being at St. Thomas during that time, Mm -hmm. since I work with the children there, if it wasn't for that flyer that was posted about the healing and about Father Gilmore and his message and your message, Mm -hmm. we would not be here today. Well, we're excited, too, to listen to this wonderful testimony, and we can't wait to hear Henry's story. Hi, Henry. Hi, Jacqueline. I'm very happy to talk to you, too, Jacqueline. Well, before we begin, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I lived most of my life in Phoenix, but I grew up in a, in a small town in Chandler, Arizona. I lived with a single mom. She was a pillar of faith. Mm-hmm. She taught us how to survive in spite of adversity. There was four of us, and uh, my father was an uh, irresponsible drunk. We were, we were marginalized. We had little of everything. We suffered from food, lodging, and clothing. She brought us through through high school, some some education. She was stern. She, she was a disciplinarian, and uh, I'm I'm happy of that too. She kept us together with her faith. And that would definitely serve you well into your future. At the retreat, what was your petition for prayer? I had shingled in my left nostril, and uh, from the shingles, it went to the neuralgia. For our listeners, shingles is a is a particular viral infection that anyone can get, especially those who have had chickenpox before. It's a, it's a virus, yes. It's a virus that all of us have a virus. Mm-hmm. It, it can happen any, any place in my body. Mm-hmm. It, it, it happened to happen in my left nostril. The neuralgia was caused by the shingles. There's, mm-hmm. there's damage in my left nostril, N- neurological damage. The pain I had, which was at one time was unbearable, was was uh, nerve damage, and it, it has to do something with the trigeminal. As I recall, the trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve and is responsible for the sensations in our face and motor functions. It's the most complex of the cranial nerves and can turn into chronic pain and neuralgia. My neurologist told me that in his profession, that was the worst pain a person can have, a, a, a neuro, neurological pain. I'd go down on my knees when I, when I had that pain. It was unbearable. And it was initiated by washing my face. And even the wind. The wind, my doctor told me the wind has an effect on it too. Because it, 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 it would, it would uh, affect my face. Mm-hmm. So I had pain for a long time. And for about six months, I, had, I was on pain pills. Tell me more about the pain, Henry. It, it moves around from uh, down to my lower part of my eye and, uh, and, and then it moves around to my, the corner of my left eye. It moves around. Sometimes it, hit, it gets me right on the tip, tip of my nose. Henry, your situation sounded like you really needed the Lord's grace and healing. When I hear the explanation now, I, I shudder to think how much pain you went through. The beginning was unbearable. I even questioned God with my faith. Why do you give me this? But I, I do know now that uh, I learned from the scriptures that those whom he loves the most, he gives them the, the worst trials. I, I accept that. You just ended your thought with this profound statement, Henry, and I can't wait to get back to it. But I'm excited to find out now how the Lord helped you. Did anything happen? Yes, something happened. Yes, yes. I remember you. we, we were in church and you sat right next to me mm-hmm. and you prayed for me. Yes, I, I asked him to I asked him to to heal me according to his will, not Mm -hmm. mine. Since that day, something did happen. From then on, the the pain, I started getting relief. The the, the unbearable pain went away, but I still have, my my, my nose runs most of the time. It runs because of the nerve damage in my left nostril. It runs. Okay. But that's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. I believe today that it's an act of God. It came from God. 
and I believe it came from God. And the, the, that unbearable pain that would make me go down on my knees, and and I uh, I despaired too of that pain. Mm -hmm. I despaired. I asked God, Why do you send me this? About six months, one day, the pain just quit. That unbearable pain just stopped. Wow, that's such great news. Yes. My, my doctor and my neurologist told me that very few people get out of it. Very few people. In fact, he thought when I told him I, didn't, I wasn't taking any more medicine, he told me that I was one of the first persons he's ever heard of that I didn't have to take medication for it, painkillers. And you know what's interesting, again, Jackie, just to reiterate, you know, my dad told me that the doctor hasn't heard of anyone recovering from the trigeminal nerve pain. Why they rejoice because it was just like, he's never heard of this. And this is a neurologist. And no, make no pain medication. And, and I, I, don't take any, I don't take any pain medication. For over, over two years now, I, I don't need the medication. I'm so Thank happy you. he's not on the pain medication. It no. was starting to make him feel lethargic and woozy and kind of unbalanced. And yeah. so that's another reason why I thought, okay, if we can just have some intervention, some prayer, um, some healing. So glad for your dad. And as you mentioned, Henry, this was not your first rodeo, right? Right. I spent time at, at church, you know, in the, in, in the chapel. Mm -hmm. I will pray to my rosary, and I feel his presence there. And I tell him I love him. I tell him I love him. I, I know I, I make him real. But sometimes he, he treats me like I, I, I've heard of some, I think it's uh, St. Uh, Avila. There's, Teresa? Uh, uh, she said, I think some saints said, that why does he treat us so bad? Yeah, why do why does he treat us so bad? And I says, you know, and uh, I've heard also that also I've heard somewhere or read it that, that those who God loves the most to give him the biggest trials. He's he's brought me through some some very difficult times. And what do you think of that, Henry? I, I accept that. I, 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 this is a trial. I've had other trials too. Another facet of my life is when I became an alcoholic. I, I was in despair. I was suicidal. And uh, I, I had lost everything, but God, in his own time and in his own way, showed me the way out. So tell me more about the burden of alcoholism. Well, alcoholism is a disease. My whole family, my whole family, from my grandfather down and sons and uncles, we, we, have all, we all have a disease. I didn't know that the seeds of alcoholism were, were with me to begin with. I didn't know that, and so I drank. It hasn't gone away. It's still with me. I joined Alcoholics Anonymous in despair. Working the steps in, in, in Alcoholics Anonymous, that, that God really cared for me. How long ago did AA save your life? 45 years ago. Mm -hmm. And that has never left me, that God is with me. My sponsor told me the most beautiful thing I ever heard in my life. He told me, Henry, you are not alone. God cares for you. God cares for me. You are not alone. I'm sure that brought you great assurance when you were diagnosed some years back with a brain tumor, huh? Right. Especially when I had that brain tumor, I was told I was going to die. Because, you know, it, it, or, or it, my doctor told me at the Humana Hospital, they told me, he says, you're going to die. Because you're, you're, it's cutting off the, it, it, that tumor is wrapped around your brain, your brain stem, and it's going to cut off the, the blood supply. You're just going to drop. I, I went for about three months. I had I had different different uh, I had different uh, procedures mm -hmm. and uh, very difficult procedures. About three months of that, different ones, and finally I couldn't take it no more. I said, "Doctor, you better just tell me something." And he says, "Come on in." And he told me, he says, "Of all the results." The, uh, all that you went through, there, there was something there, but mm -hmm. it's no longer there. Because mm -hmm. uh, he told me, the doctor says, there was something there, but it's not there anymore. He says, I don't know what happened, but I do.
I'm grateful to God that he pulled me through that, see. Henry, your conversation with me reminds me that life is so fragile and that God really is in charge of our lives. I can't imagine the anxiety and the suffering that you went through also when you experienced your brain tumor and then the delight and receptivity to the Lord when he healed you again. So I have to ask you, what are your thoughts on the topic of suffering? A lot of saints have suffered a lot. Suffering is suffering is, is not unusual for saints. They suffered. A lot of people have suffered, and it, it just it, it's my time to suffer too. But I do know that God, in God, in God's time, in His own way, He can do what He wants to do. Everything is possible with God. That is my that is my faith. But if He wants to heal me right now, He can do it. Mm-hmm. If He wanted to. Mm-hmm. But it's his will, not mine. People think they're alone, see, but they're not alone. I'm not alone anymore. I, I have a friend in Jesus. He's there. He's there all the time. So we're friends now, but, you know, sometimes he, he can do whatever he wants to do with me. Mm. And I, I, give, I give him permission to do with me what he wants to do. And he's never failed me. What a great reminder. I, I, I've been there. I've been there. I, I've had, I've had so much pain. I say, you're in charge. Mm-hmm. You do whatever you. I gave you permission to do with me whatever you want to do. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not in charge anymore. He is. Amen. Looking at your life, how did your experience of adversity, suffering, and faith change you? It's life on life terms. Okay. What does that mean? Jacqueline. We make the best of it. We accept it. Mm-hmm. We accept the pain. We turn it over to God. This is my faith that God will do something in his own time and in his own way. Sometimes I, I, I'm chomping at the bit. Sometimes I, I question him. Mm-hmm. But in all instances, he, his will be done, not mine. But it, life has not been easy with me. I've had a lot of pain, but I've used the pain. Mm -hmm. I used the pain, I turned it over to God, and he's never failed me, and I know he never will. I have a a memory that that Jesus suffered a lot, Mm -hmm. you know, being crucified and the pain. That that goes through me, too, you know, that he he suffered. So in my my, my own way, my own time, I offered it up to him. I said, you know, you suffered, Mm -hmm. I offered it up to you, And, 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 and I... And it, it gets me through that, see? I, I don't want that pain to go to waste. You mentioned that although you don't have to take any more painkillers, the Lord didn't heal you 100%, and sometimes you do have intermittent pain shooting through your face. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think the Lord is testing you? I, I keep remembering, you know, that, that, that what that saint said, that those, who, those whom God loves the most, to give them the greatest trials. Hmm. And uh, this Niranja is a trial. Uh, it's, it's, it's going on for years. I uh, tell him, I says, you know, you suffered, Jesus. You suffered. Mm-hmm. And I offer whatever pain I'm going through. But uh, in the last two months, it, it's been hard. In fact, you know, I was recently, uh, we were together with my son. He's got a little ranchette in, 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 up around Prescott, Arizona. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I... Uh, we were all enjoying our meals there, and this pain, every time I swallowed, with a pain would come in. So I asked, I asked the good Lord, I said, you know what, let me enjoy this this food with my family. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it didn't help, but I know he heard me. I, I believe that God can take care of it. Mm-hmm. I, I know he can, mm-hmm. but it, 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 he's going to do it in his own time. I, Mm-hmm. But I do turn this pain over to him. I said, I offer it up to you. It's not, the pain is not going, it's not going to go to waste. In spite of how hard and difficult it is sometimes and how much you're suffering, how much is gratitude a great part of your life? We thank God for everything, good, bad, and indifferent. Pain is part of life. No, no pain, no gain. I think I'm gaining God is God is there. God has not left us. He's cared for me. He's, he's, he's been caring for me for a long time. He's never failed me. 
and I know he never will. This is my, my journey. He's never failed me. I believe that God cares for me. If I can go through it, maybe, maybe you can try and do it too. Does it make sense? Yes, Henry, it certainly does. Is there anything else that you would like to add? I'm in, I'm in the care of the master physician. I am amazing, the master physician. <laughs> He's my teacher. He's my teacher. <laughs> He's doing a good job. And you've been an instrument. You do, you're doing your work and you do it well. Oh, that's very kind of you. Well, we all need each other. Thank you, Henry, and thanks, Rosanna. This is Jacqueline Lowe. Thank you very much for joining me on our podcast called Renewing Your Wonder. If this sharing impacted your life, please consider sponsoring our ministry. Our website is at www.gracethatreigns.com.